I'm Simon Helberg. Um, I wrote and star in We'll Never Have Paris and co-directed it. And I'm Jocelyn Town, and I am the other co-director of We'll Never Have Paris. Um, well, uh, I wrote the script, and obviously it's a personal story, and I, I always intended on starring in it. And I was going to... Uh, there were a couple different options of, of people to direct it, and, and then keeping that, that door open, and then... Uh, one of our producers, Mark Platt, um, really emphasized how personal of a story this is and, and how much he felt that it was really an auteur uh, uh, kind of film and, and basically was like, we, why, why aren't you directing this? And I said, because I'm scared. I don't, I'm in every scene. I don't know. I haven't directed before and I know exactly what I want it to be. But, uh, and Jocelyn happens to be uh, an amazing director and had directed uh, her first film right before... Um, well, right. I guess as I was writing it and finished finished writing it, uh, she had finished her movie, and we had a really collaborative relationship uh, on that. Um, if you wanna, yeah. Um, my first film I wrote, directed, and and starred in, and so Simon was helpful for me. He um, was he was he functioned as my eyes on the set while I was directing my first. Film, so um, I was really surprised that and honored that he asked me to co-direct this with him, um, um, and that's that's how it became um, uh, that partnership for this. Yeah, it was it was selfish. I just was like, <laughs> will you please help and make this good? Um, because yeah, Joss, you know, did such a great job um, on on her film, and and we really had a shorthand, and so yeah, it just it evolved sort of naturally, and um, and it seems slightly either poetic or perverse or something that, that we as a married couple would, would tell the story of our uh, tragic breakup. <laughs> well, I, you know, you mentioned uh, the, the last film you worked on together, but yeah, it sort of sounds like you were co-directing it in some ways. Well, yeah. I mean, it was, it was her vision and I basically, when she was, when she was on, on camera, I, I just, we would basically discuss what, the, what, what it was that she hoped to achieve and I would be there to sort of um, say so, whether or not we did that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was you know, and we we spent we we spent all all uh, the editing process together as well. But um, you know that was that was her ship, and um, I just kind of stood and said, oh well, here's an idea, or you know, and, and it just <laughs> felt like you know, all right, let's let's go into something mm -hmm. where um, you know we can actually uh, vo vocalize our our opinions and thoughts and. Without it being weird, um, you know, if 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 I was directing, you know, when she was directing, I didn't ever want to step on toes either. So, so this gave us permission yeah, to. This, uh, was, this was different <laughs> because we were actually both truly the co-directors of it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and we were both collaborating and and you know forming the vision of the story together. Yeah. So it was it was very different and uh, yeah, really a vulnerable kind of process. The whole you know it's just scary. I, I guess one of the benefits is that that takes some of the weight off your shoulders for a debut uh, feature as well. Um, well, that's... Well, not, not weight, that's probably not the right word, but pressure maybe. Um, I think emotionally it's still the same. I mean, this is so, for Simon, this is such a personal story and he's yeah. put his heart and soul into writing it. And, um, and I think that, yeah, I think it's just as much for him. And if people don't like it, they can be like, and there were two of you. I mean, the odds <laughs> How <favorite>. could you <laughs> not fix this uh, with two yeah. people? <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you're premiering it today at South by Southwest. What does it mean to be, you know, in Austin, um, you know, showing the film off? We feel really lucky to be, to be at this festival. We had a feeling that this was the perfect place to premiere. And so when we got, when we found out that we were able to go, um, it was really cool and exciting. And yeah, we're just still sort of pinching ourselves that it's actually happening. Yeah, it's a good excuse to come to the South. I've never been. Um, really? Uh, no, no. I, I've never been. Neither have I. Yeah. I hate to admit that. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've never been. I've never been anywhere in the South, I don't think. Uh, and so, yeah, Texas and, and Austin, we've just heard such amazing things um, about this city for uh, forever and the festival specifically. So we were just... We were excited, and, and I think people... I, I heard the word barbecue more in the last week uh, before I came here. Uh, just people, the obsession with, with that. So we, that's really all we, we had. Barbecue We've had a, we had barbecue for breakfast, yeah. Um, 
yeah, so that's, I guess that's I guess we fit right in, right? We that's look, how you do it. Yeah, no one's going to give us a Bourbon and barbecue for, uh, for brunch. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the, you eat the leftover breakfast for brunch, and then you eat that for dinner. So, yeah, <laughs> use all the parts. That's